These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for September the 27th, 2020. This week's blog post is the fifth and final one in a series of posts on favorites and new discoveries at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. The pictures were taken on a visit in August 2020. Second recommendation, Joseph Addison's play Cato. Addison's Cato was George Washington's favorite play. He had it performed for the troops at Valley Forge, and it was also the inspiration for famous lines by Patrick Henry, Nathan Hale, and Washington. As a Roman senator in the late Republic, Marcus Portius Cato, 95 to 46 BC, also known as Cato of Utica, or Cato the Younger, was a vocal opponent of Julius Caesar as Caesar was rising to power. Third recommendation, Vivaldi's opera Catona in Utica. 1737. The libretto that Metastasio wrote for Leonardo Vinci's opera Catone in 1727 was also used during the 18th century by Vivaldi, Handel, Johann Christian Bach, and about 20 other composers. Clearly the story of Cato's opposition to tyranny had a huge appeal in the Enlightenment. If you're not into Baroque opera, which is of a very different style than Verdi, for example, at least listen to the overture of this piece, which is gorgeous. And for more on Baroque opera, see my posts on Handel's Alcina. I am so missing live opera. The fourth recommendation this week is another play. DianeDranteWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, and my many other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen, or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianderantiwriter.com. Thanks as always for listening.